don't uh, inherit the earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. <laughs> this is an area that has a tremendous concentration of biodiversity within the state of California. This is an area that has a lot of wildlife. Northern spotted owls, martin, and fisher that are threatened and endangered species, as well as many that uh, the elk that aren't threatened and endangered but are so critical to this area. You've got the California Valley quail, you've got the state flower, the golden poppy, and you've got the state rock, the serpentine, all right here in the Berryessa Snow Mountain National Monument. So this monument designation is going to preserve those uses that people love here, the hunting, the fishing, the livestock grazing, the solitude, uh, the ORV use in areas where it's appropriate, and the complete solitude and wilderness in areas where that's appropriate too. So it's incumbent upon us to move up a notch in preserving iconic landscapes across the state for the next generations and make sure that people appreciate them the way they have for thousands of years. This is the American land belonging to every single individual in this great nation. It is all ours, every American. We can't let that be any other way. Conservation, epitomized by what you've done here, is people coming together and saying, we have something great. We don't want to lose it. We want these hills to stay the same. We want the access to stay the same. We're not asking for something different. We're asking to keep what we have. This is the right way to do conservation. We value these open spaces. And with the monument designation, it guarantees it gets to stay the same. To see the children that are here, the youth that are here, that these are gonna be their lands. That's really what this is all about. You have given your children a legacy here that will last forever. So thank you very much.